Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at um, a series of movements that we learn at the um, uh, beginner levels in Pro My MMA and it's called the Outer, uh, outer Arm Control Series, or Outward Arm Control Series I should say, <clears throat> where when the uh, arm is in this position where it's bent or straightened out but on the out, outward position to the body from here, the outside, <clears throat> that we're learning ways to control and manipulate from there. So effectively most of this is done from side control, I'm laying across the person from here and looking at different ways of uh, tying up that arm. This is not the only ways you can tie up that arm, it's a very specific focus through the series, but it's a very effective way of um, taking a lot of power out of this person's arm in this position. So from side control here, what I'm going to essentially be concentrating on is taking a very high forearm elbow position underneath this person's shoulder and then controlling right at the end of the arm here. So I take a lot of the movement out of Mills' shoulder where he can do a lot of defensive, duty, defensive duties and then I've got a lot of leverage around here on the arm. Now we can do this with the bottom arm coming in this way and we can do it with the top arm coming in this way and we're going to look at both. But if you only go for one then the slight preference here for controlling the arm and taking some power out of it will be to put your top arm in. It's just slightly easier to manipulate the arm in that position. So from a kind of standard side control position here, got shoulder uh, control going on right here. What I'm going to do is use that point to lift up Millsy's shoulder. So I'm going to be lifting up here effectively, turning that shoulder off the floor and sticking my top arm right in as far as I can. So I'm effectively trying to come with the point of the elbow right through from here and lay it on the floor underneath his shoulder. Getting this position here gives you a lot of control and starts uh, really tightening up around the shoulder. I'm going to then manipulate this arm down, which seems really difficult from this position because Mills' arm is still tucked up, but you'd be amazed at how easily actually you can um, manipulate this into place. So if we're in a side control and I switch this over and get under here, with a little bit of shoulder, a little bit of head movement from here, and it can be surprisingly effective at getting this arm down into the right place. Once I'm here with this elbow forced right under, right on the end of Mills' arm from here, I can be very effective at control. Pay particular attention to this arm that goes underneath, it wants to be real high. So don't just leave it hanging around on the ground like this, bring it up real high towards your own shoulder. You don't have to be gripping your shoulder, but you should imagine coming right through, you can touch your shoulder here. I'm in no rush from this position, I'm not immediately jumping into submissions or anything, I'm just wearing on Mills' arm a little bit. Naturally, he's gonna be moving this arm around and uh, trying to defend and counter this action. So by doing that and by moving his arm around, just, move, just resist this arm moving around. By doing this, I'm gonna to start to take some of the strength out of his arm. I've got a lot of ability to control that arm, a surprising amount from there, and it can be wear very wearing on his shoulder. So I shouldn't be going into this just with the mindset of attaining a submission. I'm effectively wearing down uh, the limb on this side. So I'm inside control, popping this up, getting this out from here, manipulating this arm down, and then just controlling and holding from here. Now I've got a few different options for submissions, and while I'm this way round, my most effective option is the downward shoulder control. I'm not doing details on submissions here, so we'll go through those another time, but I can turn this arm into a downward shoulder rotation relatively uh, easily from there. My arms are in exactly the right place, this one underneath, this one on the wrist. I have to adjust my arms slightly, but <clears throat> it's not a big deal for me from there. So when I'm in this position, what I'm gonna look for is Millsy bending his arm and trying to go defensive like this, by grabbing the shorts or holding onto his side to try and protect that arm. As he's bringing it in that way, I'm just gonna stack my own elbow into his side, and that makes it very difficult with this combined action from here for him to come in and defend. So once I get it into this position, I can stack it into a nice bent position and start manipulating the downward shoulder rotation. Here from here, instead of bending the arm, he tries to straighten and rotate, and up, to rotate it up towards his head from here. That's okay, if he can get that position, I can still switch, but before he fully gets that position, 
I'm going to look at straightening it out into an elbow extension. So from here as he straightens it out, I'm just going to straighten out this a little, put some pressure on here and look for a fairly cheeky really elbow extension. It's not the most solid place to get an elbow extension from but if I can get it here, straighten it out, I've got a shot at hitting it but even if I don't here I can switch to upward shoulder rotation. So if I miss the opportunity at elbow extension and he continues to rotate this arm all the way out, I'm going to switch, put the other elbow in here and control this way instead. Or look for the shoulder rotation. Before I look for the shoulder rotation again I can wear it down from here so I can be under, taking some pressure out of his arm. Again it's quite wearing on Millsy, relatively straightforward for me to control. And if he comes up towards his head I can look to switch it into the upward shoulder rotation. If he straightens his arm back out again I can switch it again into the straight elbow extension sorry, from there. If he continues to rotate his thumb down like this, again I can lift, switch and change over again. So I'm not really thinking of a particular stopping point from here, I'm thinking just continuous wear on this person's arm. So I'm wearing it out. If he straightens it, if he bends it, if he switches from here, I'll switch with him. Shoulder rotation, elbow extension, switching, elbow extension, shoulder rotation and just wearing his arm through these positions. Even if he manages to escape from here, there should be a fair bit of power taken out of his arm and it will be a little less useful to him. So that's manipulating with the outward uh, arm control series from side control, looking for elbow extensions and shoulder rotations.